What you're about to hear is a free piece of the Midnight Miracle, the best podcast in the world. There is not just one episode of this show. There are many, with more on the way. But to hear them, you are going to need to subscribe to the Luminary channel on Apple Podcasts. Yes, it costs money, about the price of one coffee per month. And that doesn't make you a better person like we do. Now, without further ado, The Midnight Miracle. Hello, little fellow. Hey, what, what is your name, little buddy? Amir. Amir? And this is your dad? Well, welcome, Amir. We're about to fuck your whole mind up. Biden said that the risk of nuclear Armageddon right now is at the highest. It shouldn't be this scary to talk. And I hope they don't take anything away from me. <laughs> Whoever they are. We got a great show tonight. Brooklyn's finest. That was California Soul by Marlena Shaw, and boy, it is a beautiful Friday here in Napa County. It's 79 degrees and sunny, and they don't make them any better than this. So get out there and enjoy this day, but expect heavy traffic down on Deer Park Road because everyone is in town for the Blue Note Jazz Festival. And if you're going, you have to check out the Midnight Miracle live this afternoon. It's going to be their first time doing the show together live in front of an audience. What a special moment. So, for ticket information, call 565-671-1973. Those tickets are out at 5 p.m., so the early bird gets the worm. And after the miracle, don't forget, Robert Glasper and Dave Chappelle are headlining the festival, and tickets are sold out. But stay tuned, because we may have some tickets to win here every hour on the hour. If you win, it's going to be a miracle, miracle, miracle. Thank you. All right. Well, everybody, if you don't know me, my name is Dave Chappelle, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to this podcast taping. And right now, I'd like to bring my co-host to the Midnight Miracle, Talib Kweli. What to go on? What to go on? How y'all feeling? This is the first time we've ever done the show with a live audience, but true to our form, Yasin, most deaf, is late. <laughs> <laughs> so we usually start and then pray and hope that he'll show up. What's your name again, little buddy? Amir, do you smoke weed or crack or anything? Can I get you something? And I'm totally joking. Weed and crack's not good for you. <laughs> Blue Note Jazz Festival. Now, Kwali, I wanted to start talking about something that's been in recent news regarding me. Mm -hmm. I booked a show in Minneapolis at First Avenue, which is the best rock club in the United States, and they happily made a, a generous offer, and the show was all set hours before the show. Literally, I was on a plane on the tarmac on my way to Minneapolis, and the owners called me and had decided that they wanted to cancel the show. I guess apparently they had made a pledge to the public at large that they would make their club a safe space for all people, and that they would ban anything they deemed transphobic. This is a wild stance for an artistic venue to take, especially one that's historically a punk rock venue. And just for clarity, when they booked you, was that before or after these specials? You know what it was? It was way after those specials. Way after. It was way after the so specials. So they knew. It was like maybe a week before all this happened. What happened was I was going to go to Madison Square Garden and pop up on Chris Rock and Kevin Hart's show. And I hadn't been doing stand-up. You can't just show up to a motherfucking Karate Kid tournament and not practice your Kung Fu. <laughs> I, need, I needed to stretch, you know what I mean? So I said, well, fuck it, I'll pull up to Minneapolis because it's close. We booked three nights. We ended up having to move the show to the Varsity Theater. Now, it was a picture of the two women, one that books the club and another woman that owns the club. 
walking into my show at the Varsity Theater, the show that they had canceled. They came, and people were taking these women over the coals for coming to the show after they canceled me. But what they were doing was coming to speak to me about said cancellation, because I was upset. I wasn't mad that they canceled the show. I was mad at the statement they released. I saw that statement. To staff, artists, and our community, we hear you and we are sorry. Yeah, to tell people we hear you was, okay, fine, you hear them, but you're sorry for booking me? Well, what's there to be sorry about is the position that I was taking. So I get to the show that night, and of course, protesters came. Uh, what a scene. Mayor, you wouldn't believe it. These were grown people of, of, of various genders and gender identities. They threw eggs. They <laughs> threw eggs at the people who were lined up to see the show. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, they was doing all that shit. One lady was so mad with the protesters, she picked up a police barricade. You never seen them? They looked like a bike rack. Uh -huh. This bitch picked that barricade up by herself and threw it at the crowd. I gotta tell you, it's an amazing feat of strength for a woman. <laughs> <laughs> so did they get to speak to you? Yeah, I was gonna get to that point. Oh, my bad. <laughs> well, no, 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 that's a perfect I'm, question. I'm, the suspense is killing me. You just listened to a free piece of The Midnight Miracle. When you subscribe to Luminary, you can listen to all of The Midnight Miracle, along with many other incredible shows, like Talib Kweli's Hip Hop Culture Show, People's Party, and Black Star's long-awaited second album, No Fear of Time. Subscribe to the Luminary channel on Apple Podcasts to get them all.